wanted to give a shout out to 1T Brett for being the guy that got me into ranting about IGN ranters. This one's for you, baby. Wink! There's this one guy by the name of LuigiFan110, or as he goes by in his other channel, MarioFan110. Now, besides having the most original and unique usernames of all time, he also does IGN rants. How are they? Well... I swear to God, if anybody tries to combat me on this, you're a fucking idiot too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, LuigiFan110 is such an idiot. Okay, how am I an idiot? Every argument that this guy provided, I completely destroyed it with evidence. Clearly we're dealing with an intellectual that is so confident with his ability to debunk any and all arguments presented to him that he is willing to denounce any and all detractors. Well, on with the commentary! <laughs> and I'll be skipping to the parts I want to commentate on. Uprising is a fast-paced, light-hearted action game featuring an insane amount of unlockable content and a very strong multiplayer component. Though it struggles in some significant ways, this latest game from Super Smash Bros. creator Masahiro Sakurai is yet another great entry in the 3DS's relatively young library. Oh, struggles in some significant ways, huh? Alright, let's see what those are, shall we? Notice how Luigi Fan disregards everything else that the reviewer says and just zones into the part where he says the game struggles in some significant ways. That's pretty much the entire video in a nutshell. As Pit actively confronts the forces of evil, he will banter with allies and foes alike, not only commenting on what he's currently fighting, but the larger situation he finds himself in. The downside to this banter? The characters won't shut up. It's true. Though the voice acting here is generally commendable, the fact that no one will stop talking can often be distracting. Yeah, well, there's an option to turn the voices completely off. So, that argument is pretty much void. <laughs> Anybody else hear that? <laughs> that little laugh that he did? <laughs> that little laugh that is full of smugness and pretentiousness? <laughs> The kind of laugh that says, oh, what I just said was so clever and witty, I totally show that opposition something. <laughs> yeah, that laugh. Here's the thing, though. That complaint is still relevant because it is still a part of the game. He'll want to turn off the voices because he finds them annoying. You might as well say, hey, turn the volume off so that you won't have any sound-related problems at all. However, multiplayer combat feels very different than the campaign, particularly when human opponents are involved. The campaign's enemies won't be trying to rapidly strafe and outmaneuver you, highlighting Uprising's biggest weakness, its controls. Oh great, here we go. Uh-oh, they're gonna point out the positives and negatives of a game? What is this, a video game review? Whether on land or in the sky, the default controls use the circle pad for movement, the stylus for aiming, and one shoulder button for shooting. This scheme, regardless of any adjustments made in the options, works reasonably well in the air, and the game's emphasis on bite-sized chapter segments certainly helps. However, when on the ground, the stylus proves more challenging, as gripping the system with one hand is cumbersome. These sequences and the entire multiplayer component desperately need a dual stick control option. Oh, dual stick control option, huh? Hmm, what about the Circle Pad Pro? Why can't you just use that? Because the Circle Pad Pro doesn't support dual analog controls. So, there you go. Even with a myriad of custom configurations, it's baffling that Kid Icarus doesn't support the Circle Pad Pro. What did you just say? What did you just say? I said shut your ugly face, Flanders! It's baffling that it does not support the Circle Pad Pro. Hmm, really? You're claiming that this game does not use the Circle Pad Pro? Are you claiming that it's not compatible with this game? Hmm, because I'm looking at the box right now and it says that it's compatible with the Circle Pad Pro. Wow! So! So IGN, you lied again! Hey, um, uh, here's a simple question. When you were looking at the back of the box, did you see the part that says, and I'm quoting, attached to Circle Pad Pro sold separately for alternate left-handed controls? Because that's basically what the Circle Pad Pro is used for. 
left-handed controls, not dual analog controls, left-handed controls. And that's what he was talking about. What if I'm someone that wants to look at a review, huh? What if I want to get this game and I want to look at a review for it? Hmm. I want to see what the game is like. Let's look up a video review, shall we? And then all of a sudden, we get lies. We get lied to. There have been articles before the game came out that told us how the Circle Pad Pro works for Kid Icarus, especially in IGN. And you know who wrote that IGN article? Richard George, the same guy who's doing the review that you're ranting about. It does support the Circle Pad Pro, okay? It says it on the back of the fucking box! It also specifies that it's used for left-handed controls in the back of the box. Heh, <laughs> who knew? Well, to be fair, could have Richard George have said it's baffling that Kid Icarus doesn't support the Circle Pad Pro for dual analog controls? Well, yes, that would have been a better clarification. Then again, he did say that in the written review. You know, the full review that is a more detailed version of the video review. Just pointing it out there. And if they were lying, that would mean that they would be purposely withholding information. Even though it was on their article. And the written review. So, how is that lying? Circle Pad Pro compatible. <laughs> Fucking idiots. You know, basically this is what makes his videos just hard to watch. Because every video that he makes ranting about IGN is just oozing with hatred and anger and a condescending tone that just highlights the bias that he has against the website to begin with. Despite these aggravating flaws... Yeah, aggravating flaws. Even though it supports it! If you're left-handed, that is! Kid Icarus Uprising is a flawed game. NOT! OH SNAP! Oh wow, not. I haven't heard that come back since elementary school. Like, how old is this guy? Like, 14 or so? 20? He's 20 years old and he's using the NOT card? I'm a 21 year old guy using a video game character to represent myself, and I wouldn't even resort to using the NOT card. Seriously, you would've been better off going, your mom is flawed, Ooh. Oh yeah, and denying that Kid Icarus Uprising may be flawed doesn't make you look fair and balanced. The controls could use some significant work, yeah, significant work, yeah, even though there's nothing wrong with them and it just takes getting used to. Even though it's not difficult to use the controls in this game whatsoever, so, you know. You can literally say that about any game. Any game. It still doesn't make it right. Just because you get used to a control scheme doesn't mean the control scheme is good. You can get used to eating rocks, broken glass, and Snapple. It doesn't mean that's a healthy diet. Yeah, it's a tiny bit, like, inconvenient. The tiniest bit. But anybody who complains about the controls in this game is an idiot. So yeah. Dude, if somebody had a legitimate reason as to why they don't like the controls of the game, that doesn't make them an idiot. I mean, you actually believe that, man? Like, how old are you, oh wait? It just takes getting used to. And it doesn't take that long either, so yeah. Idiots. Hey Luigi fan! You know, this might be odd, but you know who agrees with you for the most part? Richard George! Despite these aggravating flaws, Uprising's core combat mechanics are still thrilling. It's worth fumbling with the settings, options, and positioning the 3DS, because the action and the adventure are so much fun. Uprising is the video game equivalent of an interactive roller coaster, one that doesn't let up until its credits roll. So he basically said that the controls are worth fumbling over because of how much fun the game is. So why are you upset? He's saying the same thing that you're saying now. Of all the reviews of Kid Icarus Uprising to be upset over, why one that's overly positive about the game? I can understand disagreeing with him, but this is beyond disagreeing, this is just bitching.